Hi, these are some of the new switches from Apple Maker. The Apple Maker Bluebird, Flamingo, and the Bajigar. They come as pack of 30 for $12.99. They come in this nice looking box and this plastic holder, which also could serve as a living station, which you probably won't need since all of these are already factory lube. Let's start with the Apple Maker Bluebird. This is actually my favorite of the three. A linear switch that has an actuation force of 47 grams and a bottom out of 60 grams. This has a 22 mm dual spring. This has a nice mint color for the PC top housing and blue for both the nylon bottom housing and the palm stem. The other one is the Apple Maker Bajigar. With a light blue palm stem and cream colored nylon housings, this is a tactile switch with 50 grams of initial force and a 60 grams bottom out. This is the same 22 mm dual spring. The last I have is the Apple Maker Flamingo, a linear switch with a pink palm stem and a pretty pink and purple PC housings. This is a linear switch also that basically has the same specs as the Bluebird, just with a longer pre travel. Let's hear the sound test. The Bluebird sounds good and feels smooth, and typing with it just feels satisfying. The pre-travel on these are short and with the 22mm dual spring, it gives a snappy typing experience. In my Zoom 65, they sound creamy and poppy with a hint of talk. For the price, these are definitely worth it. And what surprised me is the Pajigar. I actually like the tactile feel because this actually starts in the beginning. It was so satisfying to just type on and the tactile bump was kinda addicting. But some may not like the tactile bump that starts early so it really just preference. For the sound, it really is more on the loud clack but kinda talky at the same time. If you like tactiles with a strong tactile bump, you'll probably like this. To be honest, the flamingos and bluebirds are basically the same. The difference is the material of the housing and the flamingos have a little bit longer pre travel. Factory lube was good but with a slight scratchiness when typing slow. But overall, it's still decent. While the other, some opaque housing, this is a transparent housing that would let the LED shine through better. Now, are these worth it? Definitely, but depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for switches that you don't need lubing, then this might be for you. These are surprisingly good. The factory lube are really well done. No scratchiness or ping. The Epo Maker Bajigar is still questionable since it's all preference in the tactile world. But they sound and feel great. 
I mean, you can't go wrong choosing any of these. My only concern is they only come in pack of 30s, which is a problem especially if you have 60% or 65% keyboards, meaning you have to buy 3 packs and you'll have a lot of spare. So what do you think?